Considering a new job or a career change, you don't have to go in blind. In this Be Your Own Investigator, we've got some ideas you can use to polish up that resume and start searching. When you're job searching, one of your first thoughts is probably, show me the money. Well, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics can give you an idea of what a new job or career could pay. Head over to bls.gov, then click on subjects and start clicking through the pay and benefits tab. Check out wages by occupation and area. For example, we can see the average pay for a retail salesperson in Erie, Pennsylvania is around $21 per hour. If you're thinking of switching up your nine to five, one great thing to consider is where the most demand exists. So what are the hot jobs right now? The BLS has that too. Go to publications and click on the occupational outlook handbook. You can see what's likely to be in demand and what those jobs typically pay. Check this out. For the next 10 years, these are the occupations with the most projected openings. Home health and personal care aides, software developers, restaurant cooks, stockers and order fillers, and registered nurses. In fact, the bulk of the federal government predictions are in healthcare, tech, finance, and truck driving, construction, and freight-related fields. But money isn't everything, and you probably want to know if other people like working at the company. Your first stop might be to Google employer reviews. You'll find a lot of resources where current and past employees leave their hot takes on what's really happening behind the scenes. Glassdoor and Indeed are a couple of popular sites, but keep in mind people are often more likely to leave a review when they're upset and had a bad experience rather than a good one. So in addition to your online research, see if you can link up with a real person who currently works there to get some intel on the situation. With this Be Your Own Investigator, I'm Josie Sturman.